Hello everybody and welcome to your reading. So today I channeled a song by the Manhattans and it's called Kiss and Say Goodbye. And uh, before I get into what I think the reading is about, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And thank you for being here with me and thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you for being here and thank you for hanging out with me guys. So, listening to the lyrics or, you know, reading the lyrics, you know, it's, uh, it starts off with saying, you know, this has got to be the saddest day of my life. Um, and that they wanted to speak to them because they had to give them some bad news. And the news is they won't be able to see him anymore because of their obligations and because the ties that they have so whoever's or energy I'm picking up on sort of collectively today it's it's an emotional song I'm doing this reading on the lunar eclipse and this is also the lunar eclipse is about doors closing you know this song talks about how they met at the same place um, you know for the same the same time every day all the time and that this would be the last time that they would see them and it's just really really sad and it's like you know let's just kiss and say goodbye I want to hug you one more time and when you walk away don't look back because I want to remember you this way forever so I don't know if I'm picking up an energy, or maybe it's all of what I'm going to say here. I don't know if I'm picking up an energy that, you know, someone said this to you, and maybe because of the moon, you know, you're sort of thinking about how that door closed. I don't know if, you know, if like emotions come up from something that was painful that may have happened to you like that. Um, I know something like that happened to me when I was around, you know, I was really, really young. It was more than 20 years ago anyway. And, you know, so I, I'm not picking up on my energy, okay, on this one. But I am definitely picking up on someone's energy who's going through this. And, um, I, you know, maybe there's somebody, um, there's a separation for whatever reason. It seems like because someone has ties and someone has obligations now obligations can be all kinds of things maybe you know they have to take care of people in their life and they literally don't have time for love or room for love um, like literal obligations and maybe the other person has ties and maybe it's just going to be too much stress to be together even though the two people who are together want to be together right and i just feel um a part of me feels like in a situation like this, like there is, like the person who's saying goodbye is saying goodbye because they truly don't see a solution. But see, I feel there's always a solution to happiness. And if two people are this happy together, regardless of ties or obligations, something must be able to be done in order to definitely avoid a tower down the road. Because if these two people really enjoy each other, to that degree and they separate for whatever reason I do believe there will be a tower down the road because the universe will be like but these two people you know they want to be together we have to put them together like it's it's the rules here we have to do this um, so I don't know I just feel there there's hope I feel there's a solution for two people to be together but I feel that the person who walked away or who may walk away doesn't see the solution they only see the problem so I want to say a prayer for anybody who feels there's no solution to their problem that there's no solution to happiness there 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 should be some kind of solution even if it's something we can't see something our mind can't seem to figure it out but I do believe there is and we're going to say a, a small prayer for, for those who who need this help our Father in Heaven, please help any of us out here find a solution to be happy with the ones that we love. Please allow all these blockages, or even if they're mind blocks, please allow them to be removed so that 
anyone out here who wants to be with that significant other person and they both want to be with each other, please allow them to see that there's a way. Please don't allow them to only see the problem and the obstacle and please don't let them give up. Let them, let them find a solution to their happiness so that they don't have to be in misery because they walk away from each other. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So as usual, I'm going to open up with some oracle cards and then I'm going to close out with the enchanted map and I'm going to use tarot cards for the the uh, reading. Um, I meant to pull out my tarot cards. I'm going to be using the gilded, the gilded here for the reading I had next to me here. So I'm going to pre-shuffle these real quick. I did a pre-shuffle on the others. I want to know about Aquarius. This could also be for a cross watcher if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but it's two people. Um, and it seems like one person is just sort of walking away because they just feel like they have too many obligations in life and they just feel like they can't be with the other person. And they also see the other person as having some sort of ties uh, to whatever. And they just, you know, basically it seems like obligations and ties, obstacles are keeping two people who very much enjoy each other's company and I would border to say love each other because it's not the saddest day of your life like he said in the song if you love someone it would be sad so it's more than just the friendship I feel um, it's a very close connection could be friendship but it's a very close one but for whatever reason you know why they have to say goodbye here all right let's pray that that just doesn't have to be the case so tell me about this um, for Aquarius or cross watcher whoever this is resonating for please tell me about this please tell me about this kiss and say goodbye please tell me what it is you want to show me here whoever this is meant for now nope, I can't take that many that's too many I see you wanted to come out right there. You're an old soul. We have white stag, protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. So. You're meant to create blessings with your magic and you're a protector. Your best friend is nature. You're an old soul. It's going to take your intuition to guide you through this. So for some of you, maybe it's your intuition leading you away from a situation. Just saying there's just too much going on here. Um, it's just, it's like, I feel like it's, this is what I feel. I feel like we got the right people and the wrong time. Is what I feel. It's like the right people found each other and the timing couldn't have been more worse. Like you could have, you know, you could have been with somebody. They could have been with somebody. Um, something really difficult could have been going on in their life or your life at a time when you guys came in connection. And it's just like, I just feel like two old souls found each other. And there's bliss in that, and, and that's what's so sad. But it's almost like it couldn't have been the worst freaking time for this, though, is what I feel like, for whatever reason. You know? For whatever reason. But I just don't know why I would have a reading about something so sad just to accept sadness because you wouldn't need to you wouldn't need to know about the sadness you wouldn't need me to pick up on the sadness you wouldn't need me to pick up on any of this unless there was some hope or some solution that this could be avoided thinking it gives a lot to think about here and you know to use our brain as it was intended a tool it would take a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking. 
and it's like with all this cloudiness here it's like there's a lot to overcome for two people to remain in each other's presence there would be a lot to overcome a lot to work through definitely some time management skills here would be required anything else wants to come out for Aquarius the fates definitely this was fated to happen you and this person were fated to run into each other so it no matter of whatever what I said okay about the right people wrong timing that's an energy I picked up on but it's saying it was fated to happen this way so there's no such thing as wrong timing and then we have balance here and it's almost this energy it's almost this organization would be the key I feel organization would be the key and the, the reason I say that is because the bottom of the of the deck is poised and it's like almost the same similar colors but we've got everything organized being able to balance time to balance out life here so I believe there is a solution I definitely believe there's a solution for two people to be in each other's presence I don't believe that it's going to be too busy or too much obligations I just feel that it has a lot to do with managing time balancing out schedules just to make a little bit of time because the thing is this connection that you have with them or they have with you I just feel like I don't feel like you need to spend your entire days together or spend your entire anything together I think you guys are such old souls and I feel that you know each other you know the essence of each other and just just a little bit of time together right a little bit of time together I feel would feed the connection a lot because it's not a needy connection at all it's actually a very supportive and nurturing connection it's that connection where you're there for each other so it's not an it's not a connection that drains it's very supportive so I feel that there is a solution even if it's just a small amount of time could be given toward one another I feel that this would thrive and it wouldn't have to come to an end it's what I strongly feel here so the end of a tough cycle approaches and it says full moon and Capricorn and a new start is coming and have faith in your dreams so I feel that I really feel if there was anything that ended or if anyone talks about ending something I feel that there's going to be either a restart because somebody can find a new way okay or I feel that because the universe like I said I picked up in the beginning the universe is going to be like, but these people love each other why would why would we allow these other things to interfere why would we allow it and I think that the universe is going to close the doors with this lunar eclipse today as I do this reading I think that the universe is going to close doors that just aren't important they appeared to be important they appeared to have a place on the schedule okay they were on the agenda and I feel that the universe is just going to wipe that out remove it and that's going to be part of the solution where two people can reconnect again Unnecessary, unnecessary things are going to be removed out of your life and out of their life so that you can be with that special person so that would be that ending and that beginning and for those of you who are dealing with someone who can potentially you know be a lover but not all these cards are about lovers this, these are love oracles in general okay because not everybody watches my readings for a new love or new lover some of it's the return of somebody who's close and precious to them sometimes a family or friend 
So what needs to come out here, please? All right, one hit the floor and give me one second. I don't want to drop my microphone. Okay. I feel the bottom is also important. It says surrender. And at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go, and all will work out. So I do feel that there is something you or them or whoever, because two people are coming together. I do feel that there is something that can be surrendered, but it doesn't appear like it could be, if that makes any sense. Like everything seems like, no, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. Like I have all these things and I have to do them. I feel that... A solution is going to reveal itself or an ending will take place because like I said the universe just sees that these two people love each other and I feel that the universe is going to make space for this and I feel that you're it's either going to be your opportunity to go with the flow or their opportunity to go with the flow or both of you because the universe is going to make room in both of your lives you'll just have to accept it so if an opportunity comes in for something old to fall to the wayside, and you may not have a choice, it could come in as a, as a tower. I don't know, we haven't even done the tarot yet, but I would go with the flow, allow it to happen, surrender. There's nothing you can do to control it is what I would say. Know that all will work out, and I feel that either that connection will pick back up or it just won't end. If, if ending was an option here, if that makes any sense, because everybody has different situations. But we have balance. This is all about balancing your time, balancing your life. That's poised. And it says love is not always about agreeing, agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And I just had said that. I feel this connection that either ended or two people feel like it has to end because of what's going on in their lives. I feel like it's not going to take a lot of time between you because it's so supportive. It's so energizing, this connection between you and that person, that I just feel like it's not one of those connections where it's needy and that you've got to be around them 24-7 and vice versa. Like it's not codependent. It's very supportive. It's like if you're with this person, you're like, you know, like I'm really having a great time with you. I really had so much fun hanging out with you or having some coffee or I really enjoyed our date. Um, and I just heard nightcap for some of you. All right. But I think that you guys are going to understand that, you know, hey, I got this project I'm working on. It's taken a lot of my time, but I really enjoy having some time with you or I'm my work is really you know, asking and requiring a lot of me right now, or, you know, I'm trying to get my business up and running. It's new, you know, and that's why I really didn't want to connect because I didn't feel that I could give time and energy to this. But, you know, I see that, um, you know, you're not needy and I see that you're understanding. Like, I feel that that's what this is. It's very supportive and understanding and that whatever you have going on, whatever they have going on, that it's all just going to work out because you guys are old souls. And you're not going to be codependent of each other, but supportive of one another. And look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Because that's this connection you have with this person. That's this connection. All right, so we'll get into the tarot portion now. All right, so show me what I need to see for Aquarius. Show me what I need to see here for Aquarius. The moon. The five of cups reverse. This is that feeling and that energy of wanting to reconcile, of wanting another chance, of wanting, of regretting maybe ending something because like I had picked up. In the upright, you know, we regret our actions. We wish we didn't do that or we didn't want an ending or um, we didn't want to move away. We didn't want to do what we did. 
we're very sad about something that happened. So it's both energies. It's the energy of the person who may have ended a connection or may be thinking about it and not revealing it yet. Either way, because it's too, it goes both ways. It goes for if it's about to happen or if it's not about to happen, okay, or if it's a reconnection. To reverse. You know, I want to sort of take back that mistake. I don't want to be in this regret, and I don't want to be sad. Let's see if we can work this out. But see, in the emotions part, both would feel this, but not maybe have revealed it yet. This is the, this is the basic issue. Wanting to reconnect. Wanting to solve this, because there's, two, there's a lot of strong emotions here, um, and they're deep. They're very deep. Like this says, my love for you is deep as the ocean. Well, this moon is above the ocean. And that's how deep these feelings go. Give me another card for that. I'm using my mini steampunk to clarify. Give me another card for that basic issue, please. All right, yeah, it came out death upright and then reverse. So for the, for some of you, this is something that's already happened. There was an ending that already happened, possibly because of too many obstacles between you guys or a start never got to take off in this life. You never even got to really pick up, right, because you guys met what seemed at the wrong time, but you guys had a connection. But this is fixing that this is there is a solution so now i understand why i channeled this this may be if this may have happened or this may happen timelines are different but this is that second chance because the bottom of the deck is ten of swords reverse so ten of swords upright is it seems like a betrayal or it seems like a harsh ending but in the reverse is like saying you know i think we can work this out i think we can do this because like I said, this is a this is a supportive connection. It's not a connection that's going to be codependent, overbearing. You know, five minutes, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Can you come over? Can you be here today? Can you know? It's not going to be that kind of connection. It's very supportive. I feel like you both have things going on in your life, and I think that whatever time you spend together, you're going to just make the absolute most of it. You know how many people spend so much time together and they waste their time. They'll be right next to each other, do nothing. They'll be on their phones and be next to each other. They don't even engage. That's not this connection. You'll make the most of your time with them. What's another aspect? The Emperor. For some of you, this is your divine counterpart. Wow. The Sun and the Emperor, they're both Divine Masculine cards. They're both the Emperor. They are both your Divine Counterpart. They're both Yang energy. And I'm going to give my Sun and Moon scenario the way I, I like to describe um, Yin and Yang, Divine Counterparts, Twin Flame, whatever you want to call it. You don't have to be with your Twin Flame to have a Divine Counterpart. You can have a very high level soulmate that's a divine counterpart as well okay because not every life you'll incarnate with your twin flame and you'll have that special high divine soulmate what i'm trying to say here is like the sun and the moon sun being divine masculine yang moon being divine feminine yen you don't see the sun and moon together always side by side unless you have some sort of event you know, like the eclipses and things like that, where it takes the sun and the moon to make that event happen, right? It affects the planet, affects the people. It affects things, puts gears into motion, emotions into motion. But early in the morning, when the sun starts to come up, you see a little bit of the sun in the morning and a little bit of the moon. And at night, when the sun is going down and the moon starts coming up, you see a little bit of the sun and a little bit of the moon together. But throughout the main course of the day or throughout the main course of the night, you don't see the sun and the moon together. This is how I am describing this relationship between you and this other person. 
You're not needy or codependent of one another. You're supportive. The sun says, hey, um, I know you worked all night, moon. I'm coming in. I'm giving you some relief, and I'm supporting you. You did a great job. That was a beautiful full moon, you know, blah, blah, blah. The moon goes to the other side. You don't see it. I mean, the moon is always there, right? It's just my scenario. But now you see the sun. The sun is up. And if you live in Alaska, we're not even talking about that right now. I'm just, let me go with my scenario here. That's how I look at divine feminine, divine masculine. You guys are busy. You might not see a whole lot of each other, but you're supportive of one another. And the love is there. You're not codependent upon one another. But I feel that there are some divine feminine and masculine energies, whoever they are, that have had obstacles between them. They haven't been able to be together because obligations and, you know, connections. I feel that that's going to change or I feel there's a solution. I feel that there's definitely a solution where there's going to be harmony and a way to work it out where you can see each other sometimes, but it's not going to be uh, clinging. It's not going to be like that because I feel both, both of you are going to have your own things going on. And now we have the Empress. Now we have the Empress here. Queen of Pentacles and Strength Reverse. So, basically what I had just said, there's going to be times, because this is a divine, it seems like a very divine connection. There's going to be times with this Queen of Pentacles and the Upright and the strength card reverse. It's going to require strength because this person is not going to be around for whoever. Like somebody may be home while somebody travels. Um, or somebody may be um, working from home and busy while someone else is outside the home. But it's, it's not because of, you know, it's just because there's a lot of things going on. It's not because there's something, uh, you know... Uh, deceptive going on it's just because literally trying to do what one was put here to do okay uh, co-creating with the universe while also making time for one another so this may be a connection where you see each other you know late at night early in the morning right and then you guys go off about your day to do your stuff and there might be those special occasions where you get to work together. You know, maybe like if you work from home, you can travel with them some time and do your work on the road. Um, and then maybe there's some, some days where they don't have to be there and, and maybe they can be a part of your world. You know, like, like how the sun and the moon, how they come together at that special moment and make this beautiful eclipse for us. You know, I feel it's that kind of connection. It's supportive. But if, if, there, if the feminine, feminine is not doing uh, what she needs to be doing, or if the masculine is not doing what they need to be doing, there could be times or pockets where someone feels lonely because, um, you know, this is, this is a type of connection where both people got stuff going on. So it's a connection that when you are together, it's about making the most of that because it's not going to be one of those situations where you're going to have every waking moment with this person. And it's not meant to be that way either. So I like that it's not codependent. What do you want to see here? Ten of Cups, yeah. It's not a Ten of Cups reverse. And maybe this person also held off in the past, if this is like that person, if it's a comeback around here, they could have held off um, because they might have been in clingy in relationships. You could have even been in clingy relationships where people just wanted to be in your energy all the time. And it was hard for you to get anything done in your life because like someone had to be there all the time. 
So that might have made somebody in the connection be like, well, I can't devote to you what other people have wanted me to, to devote in the past. Other people wanted me to be here, didn't want me to go do my job or whatever. They wanted me to be with them. And, I, you know, someone is finally like, look, I'm not going to be in a connection like that. But after a lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of thinking here, a lot of thinking, Virgo energy with the Hermit. We have, I didn't, I didn't mention it, but the Sun is Leo and the Emperor is Aries energy. The Death is Scorpio energy and the Queen of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and Leo again with the Strength card. But somebody's realizing here there's a solution to happiness. Somebody is realizing there's a solution to happiness. We can make this work. We can we can be happy. And it might be this emperor because literally the emperor now is falling out. So this there the emperor the yang energy is coming up with a, a, a solution that this can work out. The emperor is saying, okay, I can do what I need to do. They can do what they need to do. We can come together and make the most of the time we do have. I can devote a little bit of time. And if they can devote a little bit of time, we both got projects working on. You know, we're both working on our businesses. We're both working on this, right? So they're like, I think this could work. I don't think they're going to be clingy and codependent and needy upon my energy. And I know that I certainly can't be that way with them. Like, I, This is two people who got coals in the fire and it's not it's not deceptiveness it's not like having a lot of other people on a string it's literally trying to build something here on this planet do something here serve and do something i like the energy it's going to take also maturity but you know the emperor and the empress they are they are mature the emperor has a plan and the empress you know she just starts attracting all of that abundance and um, literally, you know, the Empress energy is a person who could work from home because she attracts the abundance to her. So the Empress is a person who could work from a hotel on a beach, traveling, be in different parts of the country. The Empress could definitely make her income that way. But the Emperor may have a more structured way of making money, a more traditional way of making money, even sometimes like where there's rules and regulations to follow. But there's a solution here. And the emperor finds a solution to make this work. Show me about the past. Seven of Cups. And the reverse. Landing on this Ten of Cups. And now we have the High Priestess. Now we have the Star. So... I feel here in the past it was somebody's wish fulfillment, okay, to to choose you or to you you choose them. But I feel they just couldn't see a way. They just couldn't see a way out of these obligations here. Tell me about this. Nine of Cups. Hmm. King of Pentacles. And the Hermit Reverse. Oh, that's a five of cups and the nine of cups here. So like literally, like I said, this is a person. All right. The person coming up with the solution is a person that has like a lot of coals in the fire. Right. Because they want a certain kind of lifestyle. Because I got the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So this is a person who they, they have a lot of things on their wish list. All right. And they go after them because I have the, the hermit reverse here. All right, so this is a person who wanted to choose you, possibly, because we have the star, which is Aquarius. All right, but they didn't, all right? And they were very sad over that. But it, it, it came down to this is a person who they have a certain agenda, okay? Maybe even a vision board or things written down or a certain order in life into which you know, I want to be retired by this age, or I want to have these things accomplished by this age. Like, they have a plan. And, you know, 
what the kind of energy that requ is required of this person, it, they cannot have any sort of codependent, clinging, needy type of energy around them, which is perfect because Aquarius is not like that. Aquarius loves having their alone time <laughs> equally as much because Aquarians, um, you know, we just do. I can't explain. I don't need to explain it to you. If you're an Aquarian, we, we vibe together. We all, we know yet yeah, we need our alone time because we do a lot of thinking and we do a lot of our own strategizing and we we just we do all these things in our mind right so this was a person or is a person with the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and the and the nine of cups upright this is a person who regrets maybe not pursuing you because they pursued all these things in life they wanted you know they want they want the they want the the SUV so they can get up everybody in there and they can go somewhere. They like the sports car, but then they also want the company car and they want the boat and they want the house and they want the animals and like everything in this picture, this Ten of Pentacles, they want everything, but it requires like a lot of work from this person. It requires a lot of energy from this person to uh, create these things. So with the hermit reverse, this was a person, could be Virgo, but this was a person who went out and went after everything that they wanted. But because of that, it didn't leave a lot of room for someone to be in like a traditional type of relationship where you might think sometimes, um, you know, like we have to spend the evenings together or weekends together or this together or that together. This is a person who really doesn't want that kind of relationship because they want to pursue these things. They have all these things that they want possibly by a certain time in life. Like I really feel that strongly. So it was like they wanted to choose you but and regretful and sad about not choosing you because they had obligations. And you also had connections. So they, they just couldn't see a solution. So I'm glad now I'm, I'm picking up this energy that there is a solution here. There is a solution to you and them being together, but it requires um, allowing them or yourself, whatever. Two people are going to understand that the other person needs time to develop what it is that they're trying to create in this world. And I would say that you are a good match for that because, you know, I know Aquarius energy also likes having that time to develop what Aquarius wants to develop. It's, it's a great match um, as far as that. It's not something that is for anyone codependent. No. It's not for something if you want that person with you all the time. Like I say, there will be times you can be together. Because the Empress can literally attract. The Empress can probably work from anywhere from home. But this person physically has to go out. Okay, leave the house. In other words, this person, the way they make their money, they have to leave the house to make their money. And so it just it's really about understanding, but it's going to come into balance because it's fated to be together. And an Aquarian would be a great match for a person like that. Because I like I said, Aquarians don't mind spending time alone. Aquarians have their own projects. So now they see a solution. They see a solution to this problem. The, the Divine Masculine, whoever that is, it can be a male or female, it's the Yang. The one representing the Yang energy has found a solution that this can work. So if this ended, I see that it could come back around. I see that it could have ended because of obligations on their part and possibly connections on your part. So we have someone reaches out here. Yeah, I think we can do this. I don't want to be alone anymore. I know I said I couldn't be in a relationship or I know I didn't want to be in a relationship. I just sort of wanted to sort of remain single and just do whatever. But now somebody realizes, no, we can work this out. We can balance this out. Somebody realizes that. It's a masculine. And I definitely see that too. Give me a card for that. So there's good news and there's hope and they're they'll probably going to reach out and be like I think we can work this out yeah divine masculine the sun two people here dancing I see a dog here two dogs here so far three dogs this ten of Pentacles there's a there's a, 
a tarot reader holding a card and there's a child there's a couple of dogs um, but yeah so it's good news it's good news what's the future here show me the near future or the future whatever wants to pop out just show me the future position <laughs> someone here is in heartache thinking someone the, the longer someone takes to make a move and I imagine it's this masculine because this masculine has thought of a solution here they're in their mind oh yes they're in their mind here this king of pentacles up all night in their mind I can't make this up all right they haven't spoken to you or seen you or they're not happy where they're at I I would imagine for a lot of you this already broke off okay you guys had a connection and then I don't know if they even told you that look I have too many obligations like in the song you know he met up with her and you he gave her a heads up you know this is why I have too many obligations and you have you have connections too but this person could have just ghosted because maybe they didn't have the courage to tell you stuff that was going on in their life but anyway the future is they're very sad because things haven't worked out with the Empress literally thinking about the Empress now if you're waiting on a child to return home because I do know there's some of you this would be that child wanting to return feeling that um, they were pressured to leave okay but for the most of you, this is a love story. Tell me about the future here. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords, the Fool, Nine of Wands Reverse, Ace of Pentacles. The Emperor surrenders, and literally, this Queen of Swords is different. This Queen of Swords is very loving and kind. Her sword is down, and she's taking the hand of a masculine. So this person, ding, this person is coming back the correct way to bring a new beginning of a relationship. The full Aquarius energy. This is Libra energy, but this, I mean, you know, not saying you couldn't be... Uh, dealing with the Libra or Taurus you know we have all these signs here but um, this is a person who takes the hand of the masculine and starts a new beginning because they come in the right way they come in wanting a relationship they surrender to this because they're in such sadness they just surrender and they find a solution so there is a solution and I love that tell me what the self position is forward movement pretty quick here traveling to you to talk so they may come um yeah eight of cups reverse nine of ones this one's looking and waiting they might be waiting for the right time to approach you all right to have a conversation with you all right um this nine of ones for me more often than not is a car i know how i'm like that one percenter of tarot readers who don't take this always as a player but with this person this person returning I feel that they're gonna make like a very quick trip um, maybe they know where you're at uh, I will clarify because I you know and the reason I say this because when I do my daily readings for myself well when I used to uh, when I had a car I would do daily readings and when this whenever my car would break down this always came out but reversed so this I, I guarantee you this is not always a player I guarantee it because I wasn't dealing with the player my car broke down and it came out in reverse this is travel it's on a horse but it, it travels pretty quickly or it gets up and goes when you need it kinda like a car right so it's not always a player I just I just want to open your minds to that because most most tarot readers read it that way in a love story you know it's the horse that gets up and goes when you need it but it, in your daily life it's your daily driver as well so, anyway this person may literally come over okay they may literally come back come over 
pop in for a quick conversation because they're they remember they're busy you know this person could even make money in the transportation industry industry but they are busy so this is not a person who can come over and have a two-hour chat anyways this is a person who probably has you know businesses anyway they leave the house to make their money and you might make your money in the house or you might literally be in the house because the empress attracts but i see them popping in for some sort of quick conversation you know like hey i think i have a solution to the problem we're having bam um i'll get with you on it real quick or um i lost your number or you know how can I get in touch with you? I can't talk about it right now, but you know, I just wanted to seize the opportunity to do it. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. The star, yeah. They approach you. They approach you. You, um,. Maybe you thought you wasn't going to see this person anymore. Um, but they take a minute out of what they're doing. Because this is a person, like I said, they're always focused. And a lot of, a lot of it, I'm being honest, they're focused on their money. With the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, they are very much focused on obtaining all of these things in their life. But they take... This is in reverse. And what I got with this is they take a moment out of their day here. They take a minute and they come real quick just to talk to you. So that's what this is. It's not player energy at all. They come real quick to talk to you. Like I said, how it plays out is different. They might literally be like, hey, I, I think I got a solution to your problem, Aquarius. Um, how, can we, how can we be in contact? I'm working. I'm real busy right now. But, you know, can I call you late at night? Can I call you early in the morning or something like that? You know, can I get your number? How can we? Whatever. But we got happy home here. <laughs> All right. Happy environment. Maybe it's even like, you know, you want to work together? I don't know. Whatever it is, because this I've got this card for. It's a happy environment, whether you're at home or whether you're at work. But literally, they could literally come to your house. Um, and it's, it's about offering a lot of happiness here, finding a solution. They find a solution to make this work with you. Three of Pentacles back here. Like maybe they wanted to work with you before. Maybe you used to work with this person. Maybe you, you used to see this person at work. The Three of Pentacles landed over here in the past. Maybe in the past you used to work with this person. Um, and you just stopped connection or seeing them. But now it's like whatever they're doing, they do seem to have a lot of coals in the fire that they literally have to leave the house. They have to leave the house to do what they do. But they're going to ask you if there's a way for them to, you know, speak with you um, about these plans, about the solution that they have. All right. So whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is, it's it's a it's a. It's a conversation, all right? And it's coming here. Uh, that's what's in the environment, all right? It may literally be about work, about moving, about an apartment, about a place to stay or something or whatever. But it's going to be to where you guys can work together and, and um, see each other from time to time. It's going to make the connection work. The world. The world. Hope and fear. The world. The world is a lot of things for me. It's travel. It's the internet. It's cycles completing. And we do have the end of a cycle approaches. So we do have the end of a cycle approaches. And I believe the end of the cycle that's approaching is if there's been any silence, if there was any break where you couldn't literally be in each other's energy, I believe that's what's ending here. Tell me about the world. Justice reverse. Five of Pentacles, reverse. Um, five of Pentacles, reverse is a return. Justice reverse can be, um, maybe they're worried if you, you don't want to act on it because justice can be whatever you put into motion, all right? Um, but it's also balancing things out. So 
you know this this card it talks about you know the scales being balanced and like one person has a lot a little bit more to do or maybe has more coals in the fire than the other one so like let's say you make your money one kind of way like you're doing one thing or maybe you're working from home maybe this person's got like a, a lot of different things outside that they work on but anyway it might be them you know worry can I make this work you know can I balance this out can I do this um, but still it's also them wanting to return so that is the hope and a fear the hope is you know I want to return I have a solution the fear is what if I can't make my solution work very simple there all right so what is the outcome according to today's reading according to today's reading what's the outcome justice action so before where we have inaction we have action putting my plan into action I give motion to this action motion granted we're going forward Libra energy let's do this let's do this all right let's do this let's make an investment in each other give me a card for that landed here they are still stuck in the past like they really can't believe they didn't choose um, they just can't believe it's something they're stuck on about the past they're very regretful because they wanted to choose you all along all right and and it's taken them a while and honestly this person might not have told you they had all these other obligations they might have just ghosted very simple with that four of swords there they might have just ghosted they could have and, and they, it could have been a while with that knight of pentacles and that is virgo energy with that but nevertheless they're stuck in their mind about how things went in the past if they literally you know like i described in the song or if they just ghosted because of obligations but now they do want to do things the right way they do want to reach out and they do want to put action toward this they do feel there's a solution now how you feel about it what you do about it aquarius it's 100 percent up to you or cross watcher if you're dealing with an aquarius it's 100 percent up to you it's your life I'm just a card reader here. So what is the advice from the Enchanted Map? We are going to ask the Enchanted Map. What is the advice? What is the advice here? Ha! The bottom, follow the leader. That is so cute. Remember that when you are a kid playing a game outside? Follow the leader. I was always rebellious. I would never follow nobody. How, how many are in the boat with me? Amen. I wouldn't follow nobody. I wouldn't follow nobody. I was always, I always took the lead. I just was never a follower in life. All right. We have mountain. This has a face. Um, you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is a time to ab ab adapt. Um, and so, like I said, this problem, this person couldn't see a solution to the problem. They do now. They, they're making their way around the obstacle. Uh, so it says, sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable surmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling it away is the answer, but... Why take such treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers and flow around mountains naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is the time to adapt to your circumstances. If you decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time, opting for the next right action. So. I think that's relevant to this reading. Anyway, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you guys, and I'll see you in your next reading. And namaste, my friends.